Good evening. This is Pastor Jung Park. A couple weeks ago, my family and I decided to watch the Harry Potter movies again. We recently completed the whole series. My boys enjoyed all the movies, but some scenes were scary to them, especially the appearances of the character of the Dark Lord Voldemort and some ghost battle scenes. One night, when I was about to pray and I was getting my boys ready for sleep. My six-year-old Joshua asked me the question, Daddy, do you know why two is better than one? At first, I thought he was testing me with a math question that he had learned at school. I asked him back, Joshua, why is two better than one? He quickly responded saying, Because two is less scary. Daddy, can you sleep with me? I'm scared. I smiled at him and stayed with him until he was comfortable and able to sleep. One hand was holding his dear teddy bear and his other hand was holding my arm until he fell into a deep sleep. On the way back to my room, I pondered what Joshua had said to me, two is better than one. I thought it was meaningful and spiritually important. I want to share a verse from the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 18, from the Living Bible Translation. It says, And the Lord said, It isn't good for men, humans, to be alone. I will make a companion for him, a helper suited to his needs. I don't know whether every living creature feels lonely or not. As far as I know, we humans feel alone when we are isolated and disconnected. During the pandemic time, we are all experiencing what it means to be alone or to live our life without a real community around us. Ironically, the longer the pandemic lasts, the deeper we are yearning for the value of having a community of companions and sustainers beside and alongside us. I imagine and hope that when we are able to come together without wearing our masks, without need of social distancing, we will more clearly know that we are created to be part of the community and to be companions and sustainers to one another. By the divine love and in the image of God who created humankind in love. Friends, I'm confident that we will eventually conquer and control the coronavirus with a new vaccine. And this t dark tunnel that we are walking through will be remembered in the end as a story from the past. And we are hearing some good, great news about effective treatment on TV as well. But one thing that we should not forget from the pandemic experience of 2020 is that we can't live our lives without community. And we cannot live alone without God, our true friend. And we cannot live a single day without one another. You matter to me, and I matter to you. Let us pray for each other and get through this time together. May God bless you and take care of you. May God be kind and gracious to you. May God look on you with favor and give you peace. Amen.